Ever since I read Tony Buzzin's book, I have been a big fan of mind maps. I use them all the time. I use them to record my thoughts. I use them sometimes if I want to brainstorm for a new idea. And when it comes to presentations, it's normally my first port of call. I sit down with a blank mind map and use it to record my thoughts, record the points that I want to make to support the central message of whatever presentation I am giving. I find it really useful for doing that to get a structure very quickly on what it is I want to say. I will also use the actual mind map as well as my notes for any presentation I'm giving. And I will carry that one sheet mind map with me to a lectern, put it on there before I give a presentation, and I always have the reassurance that it's there should I need it. Sometimes it's just the reassurance that it is there that means that I never actually have to go near it. But should I do have to go and look for a particular point, if I lost my train of thought, I can quickly take a small break, take a pause, go to the lectern, and because I structure my particular mind maps to go from top right up to bottom left, if I'm, say, halfway through my presentation, I've lost my train of thought and I'm not too sure what my next point was, can take a quick pause, return to the lectern, and look towards the bottom of the mind map if it's towards the, the middle of my presentation. And it only takes a second, because it's so visual, it only takes a second, a quick glance, to see the point, to let me continue with my presentation.